two. This one says identify and sketch the surfaces. So here, yeah, we have two parts, part A and part B, and this one is right here. So the, uh, we'll look at part A right here. And uh, yeah, actually, uh, first of all, I just updated the description. So these are the examples we're going to be dealing with circular cylinders. And then the solution to part A, this one is going to be a vertical cylinder, and I'll show that soon. So, so we have x squared plus y squared equals 1. So notice the z is missing. So since z is missing in the equations x squared plus y squared equals 1 is just a circle, yeah, where in this case z equals k. So we have whatever value of z uh, is, uh, you're also just kind of a circle that's shifted based on the value of z. So this represents a circle with radius 1. It's the number of the um, equation is going to be r squared. Yeah, so that's going to be the r, so I'll put this like that, r squared with radius 1 uh, in the plane z equals k. And uh, the surface uh, x squared plus y squared equals 1 is a circular cylinder whose axis is the z axis. Yeah, so that means that we're going to have rulings that are vertical lines. So let's just uh, draw this out. So we're going to have a cylinder. I'm going to, what I'm going to do is, so it's going to be a vertical cylinder like this. And then we're going to have the z axis that goes through on the top like that. It's going to look something like this. Because remember, we're going to have a circle. We'll illustrate this as I go. And this goes all the way down into here. And then this is going to be dash like that. This is going to be the y axis. Dash like that. This is going to be the z axis. Like this. So that's z and that's y. I mean, yeah, that's z, y, x like that and the rulings yeah they're going to be vertical lines but uh, again i want to point out right here so this is just the equation of a circle right here so if you have z let's say z is any any random value so let's say z is right here and so you're basically going to have a plane like that that's going to be across it dash like that and this is going to be at the uh this is going to be at the z equals k plane and in there you're going to have a circle like this and this circle is going to be they're all the exact same equation but depends on the but then the uh, z equals k value is just uh, different that's going to be uh, it, we just put a slice like that and uh, all of these circles are going to be just uh, x squared plus y squared equals the radius r squared equals one so now, in other words one squared is just equal to one so the radius is all one so then uh, this point right here is going to be, so this point right here is going to be, yeah, radius 1. So it's going to be 0, 1, 0 like that. This point is going to be at the 1, 0, uh, 0 like that and so on. So that's how it looks like. And then the rulings is just going to be straight across like this uh, through it. It's going to be all in there. Put a dash through this <laughs> plane. Make it, uh, and these are all the rulings across it. Dash dash go straight, straight through. Oops, uh, yeah, like that. Yeah, uh, let's fix that up. So you're just, you're just gonna have vertical uh, rulings. And there's the ruling. So vertical rulings. All right, so that is what we have. So the next thing is, uh, like always, we're going to graph in GeoGebra. So it's going to look like this. So Z equals X, or actually this is right here. So X squared plus Y squared equals Z equals 1. You're going to have a vertical tube like that to stay cylinder there. And if we go to this, you just press this and then go to this one. So there is our cylinder. So to remember the points at the 1, so it's radius of 1. Straight across. So there's X squared plus Y squared equals 1. All right, that's pretty epic stuff there and uh yeah so now let's look at solution to b this is uh, going to be a horizontal cylinder if you look at b right here so now we have y squared equals uh z squared equals one so now the x uh variable is gone so that means x could be any value so in other words we're gonna have a horizontal surface or in this case cylinder so in this case uh x is missing and the surface is a circular cylinder whose axis is the uh is the uh, x axis it is obtained by taking the circle z equal i mean y plus uh your y squared plus z squared equals one uh and x equals zero and the and the y z plane and moving it parallel to the axis and uh yeah we could see this over here so we're gonna draw this out 
I'm just, just going to draw this line, uh, this uh, cylinder horizontal like that in 3D, and it's going to look like this. Then the Z axis is going to go. There's the Z. This goes all the way down. And then it's uh, the X is going to be um, the. Is, yeah, X is going to be the. Uh, just a variable that's not in the equation. So basically these are all independent of, all these shapes are independent of it. So we're gonna go all the way along it. So it's gonna look like this. This is gonna be our X. And it's gonna be a tube like that, yeah. So it's gonna be a tube like that. This goes all the way down here, like this. And at this point right here, where you have uh, X equals zero, you're gonna have this point is gonna be zero. And then the Y is gonna be, well, one, the radius is one. This is going to be here, uh, this is going to be 0, 0, and then 1. And uh, yeah, this, uh, this is just a circle like that, and we just shift it across all throughout. There's our circle like, like this, y squared plus z squared equals 1, and x is equal to 0 at that point. And then you just shift it all the way across this entire thing like that. And then uh, the ruling is just going to be a, a horizontal line uh, across the whole thing basically parallel to the x axis and so on like that just gonna yeah put them all across like that and that's how you make this uh, tube or this uh, horizontal cylinder all right so that's what we have and then as always you can graph this in geo GeoGebra 3d graphing calculator it's going to look something like this the horizontal tube so let's just go over here we click this and then go to this one Again, yeah, this, so this link has all of the uh, exercises and so on, or pretty much all, all the 3D ones. And yeah, there's the tube like that. And you can see the values of 1, 1, uh, radius 1, and so on. Epic, epic stuff. There, and this one, yeah, there's no X. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's no uh, X variable in this one, so, it's, so that means all the X variables are going to have the same shape, which is the circle. So it's just basically infinite circles. All right, so that's pretty epic. And uh, yeah, going further, so I just want to make a note. 3D surfaces versus 2D traces. So when we are dealing with surfaces, it is important to recognize that an, equ that an equation x squared plus y squared equals one represents a cylinder and not a circle. And uh, the trace of a cylinder x squared plus y squared equals one in the x, y plane is the circle with equations x squared plus y squared equals one and z equals two to zero. So that's the thing. It's um, yeah, very important to distinguish uh, when you're dealing with 3D versus 2D. So yeah, so this is in when you're dealing 3D, this is a 3D surface. Uh, and that's made up of infinite circles that have yeah, basically the same equation plus the variables define it uh, for the Z, the missing one. So Z is equal to zero, you're gonna have a million of them. I got this one right here. Uh, at this point, and you have a million, or in this case, a Z. Uh, whatever the z value is, you're gonna have a million of these. So this is a circle, but the full shape is gonna be a uh, cylinder. So that's the important thing to uh, uh, keep in mind at all times.